What's up everyone, it's me David, and last night I saw Captain America Winter Soldier and I really enjoyed it. It's a really fun movie, a real game changer for Marvel Cinematic Universe, and has two after credit scenes which are sure to get people talking. Today, we're going to be talking about these scenes, we're going to be explaining a few things and speculating on what they mean for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Spoiler alert! So the first after credits scene takes place in a Hydra base where Baron von Strucker, the leader of Hydra and one of the villains who will be in Avengers 2, is talking to some guy explaining how they're going to avoid being taken down by the Avengers. Now a few things are revealed in this scene. First, it's revealed that Hydra have a low-key scepter from the Avengers movie, and this is a big deal because the scepter is very powerful, not only because it can shoot those weird beams that make everything explode, but also because it's capable of mind control and controlling people for doing what you want them to do. And this is quite a bad thing because historically Hydra aren't very nice people. Now, however, the biggest thing to draw from this is that we get our first glimpse at the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. If you're up to date with your Avengers 2 news, you'll know that Aaron Taylor John Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen have been cast as the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver in the Avengers 2 movie. But who are these characters? Well, in the comics, Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch are mutants, they are Magneto's children, but, however, their origin is going to have to be changed here because Marvel do not own the rights to the X-Men movies, unfortunately. Now, before we delve any deeper into this scene, I'm just going to give you a very quick, brief biography of what these characters are about so that we just have a better idea of what to expect from them. Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch first appeared in X-Men issue 4 in 1964, written by Stan Lee with art by Jack Kirby. Originally, they were villains standing with their father Magneto in his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. However, they ended up ditching, his, ditching their dad and becoming good guys, joining the Avengers. Quicksilver's powers are traditionally just super speed and fast thinking, and we get a good glimpse of this in this scene with Quicksilver shooting around his cell super fast. However, at one point in the comics, due to his sister's mental breakdown, he loses his powers and has to go through the Terrigen Mists to regain them. The Terrigen Mists are something that is owned by the Inhumans, and it's what gives the Inhumans their powers. So anyway, when Quicksilver goes through the Terrigen Mist, he ends up coming out with these weird teleporty powers, which are quite complicated to explain, but basically, they're just teleportation. That's the easiest way to say it. Just think of it like that. Um, however, it looks like Marvel are going with the more traditional, just super speed, um, for Quicksilver's on-screen appearance, and I think that's the best way to go, because the other powers are a little bit confusing, and... Quicksilver has traditionally always been about super speed. Now, despite appearing in a lot of stories, Quicksilver hasn't really shaped the Marvel Universe in the same way that Scarlet Witch has. The Scarlet Witch's powers are extremely complicated to explain and seem to change with every writer that takes her on. But here's her powers as I understand them. The Scarlet Witch has the power to change reality itself, warp it to her liking. In the House of M story now, she creates a whole new, like, reality where the mutants are a majority and humans are a minority. Unfortunately, this ended up being bad for everyone. Scarlet Witch can also fire hex bolts at bad guys, and she also has a resistance to the Phoenix Force, which is really one of her most impressive attributes. Why? Because the Phoenix Force is an ancient cosmic force of death and rebirth, so the fact that she has any power over that thing at all is very impressive because it is an extremely powerful thing. However, because the Scarlet Witch is so powerful, she's also susceptible to mental breakdowns. And her biggest mental breakdown was probably during the House of M storyline, where she created a world where mutants were the majority and humans were a minority. This world ended up being brought down, but she was in such a fragile state by the end that she ended up depowering 98% of the mutant population, including her brother Quicksilver, which is why he had to go through the Terrigen Mist, like we were talking about earlier. But Scarlet Witch is also famous for her marriage with a Vision, a character who is also making his debut in The Avengers 2. However, this marriage ended up coming to a tragic end, um, again during the House of M storyline, where in her fragile state, she ended up killing the Vision. So now they're not really on good terms. Talk about a messy breakup. Jeez Louise. So now we know who these characters are, let's talk about how they fit into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, as I've already said, in the comic books, the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver were mutants. And obviously they can't be mutants here because Marvel do not have the rights to the X-Men franchise. So, here's how I think they might fit into this. So, possibility number one. Loki's scepter is capable of mind control. Is it possible that it's also capable of empowering people, giving people abilities um, beyond just being controlled by someone? 
It's just an idea. To be honest, I think it's a long shot and I think option number two is much more likely. Option number two is that Hydra have created a serum not unlike Extremis, which we saw in Iron Man 3. Now, in Iron Man 3, Extremis gave people like fire powers and regenerative abilities. What if Hydra created a modified version which gave people super speed or psychic powers? It could happen, right? It's a possibility? I don't know. It's the best I could come up with. How do you think the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver have got their powers? Comment below and let me know. Now, the really interesting thing about this scene is what it means to these characters going forward. The fact that Chris Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch have been created by Hydra and Hydra have the means to mind control them using Loki's scepter means that I think when they join the Avengers and the Avengers 2 that they might end up being agents for Hydra and betray the Avengers and end up being part of the Avengers' downfall. Now let's talk about the second much simpler after credits scene which sees the Winter Soldier aka Bucky Barnes walking through the Captain America exhibit which we saw earlier in the film and he stops and stares intensely at the Bucky Barnes memorial. Now this is significant because it shows that he's realising that Captain America was right, he wasn't lying. He is Bucky Barnes, he was Captain America's friend, and this is going to change things hugely for the Winter Soldier. Now, to be honest, I was kind of expecting a scene like this somewhere in the movie. Because in the comic books, the Winter Soldier does become good, he remembers who he was, he becomes buddies with Steve Rogers once again, and even takes on the mantle of Captain America after Steve Rogers is assassinated. So, um, it's, it's obvious that Marvel have big plans for the Winter Soldier going forward, uh, which doesn't surprise me because he is quite a big character in the comic books at the moment. Thank you very much for watching this video. That's all I have to say on Captain America the Winter Soldier after credit scenes. However, I will be doing more videos on Captain America the Winter Soldier, including a spoiler talk, just going through all the major plot points. Like I said in, at the beginning of the video, this film was a game changer. It has just completely changed the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I am going to do a video just talking about the future of the Cinematic Universe and just how this film has impacted it. Also, I'm going to be doing a review of the movie, which is probably going to be quite positive, because I did think it was a really good movie. Anyway, please like this video, please comment below what you thought of the movie, what you thought of the scenes, and what you think is coming up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What do you think is the future for the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver? What do you think is the future for the Winter Soldier? There's so much to talk about. And finally, please subscribe to my channel because it really means a lot. I really love it when people subscribe. It just, ah, oh, I love it. So please, please, please subscribe to my channel. That would really make me happy. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. So long, farewell, blah, 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 blah. Goodbye.